Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, October 8th. Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, October 8th. It's 4.06 p.m. The regular session for the futures markets just closed about six minutes ago. You can see my computer clock on my right with the date and time, and on my left is the time and sales, the E-mini settling in at about 28.92 after a down up day. Uh, first up is the E-mini S&P on a Superenco 6 tick. This uh, did not have uh, money management in here, a daily goal or loss limit for uh, some reason. I'm not sure why, but in any case, probably because I'm using a different template here. And sometimes that happens. But anyway, this, uh, you know, freely ran and did 32.75 for the day. And uh, you can see here it had no losing trades looking at the equity curve. So it looks like we had five or six winners in a row and no losing trades. And basically what happened here is uh, at 32.75, I just turned it off. <laughs> so uh, there's no shame in doing that. And, and certainly it would have went much further. But uh, 32.75 for the day, this is trading three contracts, so it's about $1,000 per contract. That's, that's 80 ticks per contract in the E-mini S&P. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a 1597 Hike and Ashi chart. Just want you to notice the uh, run here at the end of the day on the Hike and Ashi bars and then the short trade here. But anyway, this did 1087 on what looks to be like a couple of small trades entered twice in the in the trend direction. This is a limit order at the close of the bar, and the goal on this is 1300, so just shy of its goal. Okay, the Mini e S&P on a Superenco four tick with a higher time frame filter of a Superenco six tick has a goal of 1,050, and it's only trading two contracts. So really solid performance on this chart and it basically hit its goal and had a couple of ticks of slippage. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a regular 5 Renko with a higher time frame filter of Super Renko 6. This one has fixed targets here, but the first target being 16 ticks, I'm trailing the stop by zero bars after 16 ticks. So prematurely stopped out here. This could have went for much more. But nevertheless, two winning trades and it hit its goal of 750 with no slippage. Now the second chart that we follow on the 5 Renko is trading three contracts with fixed targets as well. And again, the same trailing stop. And on this one we have a little bit higher goal. So this one hit its goal also of 1,050 and had a couple of ticks of slippage. Okay, the DAX on a Precision Renko 16150 did 962.50 on a couple of trades here. This is using our line break logic as you can see here. It looks like the E-mini S&P dominated today as far as winners. Uh, this is the Super Renko 2 tick with a 4 tick higher time frame. This just had uh, two trades, one small loser here and then uh, caught most of this uh, move down and hit its goal of 750 for the day. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Super Inco 6 tick had a single trade here and did 700. The goal is 1,000, so uh, shy of its goal, I believe. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a Super Inco 4 tick with a 2 tick uh, other time frame did 675, and this was a bit volatile today, but the max drawdown was only about 125 per contract, and then finished up at 675 for the day. Okay, the NASDAQ on a regular five minute chart had a up, down, up day. Looks like we had an equity high of about 700, and then we drew down about 350, and then settled in at 590 for the day. This is trading two contracts. Okay, the ES on a 987 Heikenachi tick chart. 
Looks like it drew down on the first couple of trades about 200 per contract, made an equity high of about 1200 at the noon hour, and drew down again, still positive, and then finished, made another equity high about of about a thousand, and then finished at uh, 775. So quite a bit of volatility on this chart, but still finishing with a respectable gain. And you know, once again. Uh, selection of your daily goal is really important. This is probably a little too high for this. Uh, trading only two contracts, it's, it's, it's really asking a little bit much. This sh goal should probably be more like, like $1,000, 500 per contract would make more sense. So I'm just going to change that right there and put the loss limit at 900 And then that looks pretty good. Okay, the ES on a Super Rank of 4 tick. And this is the one that begins trading at 12.30 noon, started off with a couple of losers back to back and drew down about 300 per contract and didn't get stopped out for the day, came close and then came back with four winners in a row and ended up hitting its goal. So that's a pretty remarkable performance there. Uh, this is actually trading three contracts and uh, very modest goals here, seven, seven and eight ticks on the first two contracts and then trailing at 20 ticks by zero bars, which allowed these, uh, each of these runners to do pretty well here. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching today.